Hi friends! Welcome or welcome back to Prairie Vintage Jewelry. My name is Linda and today I am here with another pick a card reading. We have three tarot decks to choose from and today's reading will be about your connection and message from spirit, something you need to know regarding your connection. And um, yeah, I was getting some downloads from spirit and Felt I had to do this reading now, or I guess these readings. Now I'm a little under the weather, so I do sound a little nasally, but uh, I got my uh, water beside me, so hopefully I don't get too uh, coffee. But um, mm, speaking of coffee, maybe uh, I'll go make some coffee. Anyway, back to this. We have three piles to choose from here, and pile one is the Modern Witch Tarot, pile two is the Guardian Knight Tarot, and then pile three is the sugar skull tarot deck so pick whichever pile you're more drawn to and we will do a quick energy check just to ensure that you have picked the right pile before we get into the message from spirit regarding your connection all right so we'll see you guys soon bye hello my fabulous pile number one if you picked the modern witch tarot pile number one this will be your reading and if you skim through the initial uh, intro of this video, um, we will be taking a look at your connection and we'll be getting a message from Spirit regarding something you need to know about this connection uh, directly from Spirit. And uh, initially, we'll just take a look at the energies, your energies regarding this connection so that you know whether this is the right pile for you or not. So we have the Ace of Pentacles coming up in reverse, and I do apologize if I'm a little nasally. I am a little under the weather, but um, certainly feeling like I had to um, I had to run these messages today for some reason. I felt so inclined. Okay, so we have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Wands coming in reverse. Spirit, thank you so much for a clear and concise message here for pile number one. Also, please protect pile number one. And thank you, pile number one, for allowing me to tap into your energy today of you and your person. We have the Page of Swords coming up. And one more for the top row here, Spirit. We've got the Sun. Okay, clarifier for the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I do feel like these two want to come out. We got the Emperor and the Chariot. There's the Five of Pentacles here, Spirit. We got the Four of Pentacles in reverse. The Nine of Wands in reverse. Please clarify. We got the Page of Pentacles. And the Page of Swords, please clarify Spirit. And we got the Two of Cups. And finally, why is the Sun here? We got Judgment. Okay. So this will be your energy. And if this resonates, then we will take a look at messages from Spirit for your connection. Just give me a minute to tap into the energy. Okay, so I'm picking up that for a bulk of you guys um, in this connection that there was a significant need for things to move forward and you almost took a position of an ultimatum within this connection that either things moved forward um, or you were just going to move on and cut yourself completely off uh, from this connection. Now, I do pick up that there's a lot going on with your person right now in regards to, I mean, this is about your energy, but I'm already getting from spirit that there's a lot going on 
um, with your person in regards to being aware that there is a decision needing to be made uh, within this connection to move things forward. And like I said, there was most likely an ultimatum given to your person. So you guys could have very well had a conversation um, and you've kind of withdrawn your energy. And I almost see um, you kind of being in a position that it's either this, which is progression within this connection in this manner, or it's nothing at all. So again, with the ultimatum, um, in order for you to want to invest in this connection, you wanted to see progress. And I do sense that you feel this connection would bring happiness and potential, but you feel very down and out about how things were handled or not handled, I should say. There was a lack of progress. There was there was at some point a need to fight for this connection and to constantly kind of put forward effort, but you've taken the stance of, I am just not going to, um, I'm just not going to keep, you know, um, completely fighting forward. Like it's very heavy lifting for you to kind of carry it alone. And just, excuse me, I need some water before I start coughing. <clears throat> All right, so I do see here with your person, even though we asked spirit for your energy, but I do pick up from your person this um, this emperor card and this chariot is giving me um, heavy vibes of another energy outside of your energy. So um, again, emperor is most likely a masculine energy, but it, it doesn't need to be. It could very well be. Um, the more masculine in this connection is coming through as your other person, but there is a need to, for them to drive forward and maybe pick up from where this connection kind of left off and your person is, or was at some point in time, not, not, um, stabilizing or grounding this connection in a way that was building the roots that needed to take hold or grow for this connection to move forward. I'm getting from this four of pentacles in reverse that your person wasn't willing to either commit or put in enough to stabilize the connection, the roots of this connection and the first steps in doing that was never really taken off the ground. Maybe it was all talk. There was a lot of communication about it. Um, could very well that be that your person promised you or led you along to believe that that was something that was in the stars, but never really secured or grounded um, the unity between the two of you guys. And with the two of cups here, it really is showing kind of your ultimatum. It's either a unity of the two of us together making things work here, or, you know, I'm cutting this off. Um, and with the judgment card here, it does speak of the awakening, you know, someone coming to a realization um, of that needing to be a requirement. And I do feel like it's your person understanding that that is what needs to be done. Excuse me, I'll just have some more water. I feel like I'm going to cough at any minute. I probably shouldn't be talking so much, but <clears throat> okay. So I kind of, yeah, I'm feeling very heavy vibes from your person in the bottom row and I'm feeling more your, coming from your vibes up at the top. Um, I'm just trying to see if there's anything more from spirit here. Yeah, I do sense from you that you're looking back at the past and you're looking back at the past as in not wanting to have to go through what you have in the past to try to make things work. 
that you've invested a lot of your effort and your energy and you're kind of now in the position that I've already said my piece and I know what it is that I want and I know what it is that's required here. So either you move forward and you make this offer and take the steps in doing so, so we can move forward in this connection and find happiness or I guess I'm kind of out. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what I'm picking up here for your energy. Now, if this is sounds like your energy, we will take a look at what message from spirit regarding this connection that you need to know about your person and this connection. And I still feel like I'm going to start coughing. All right. Oh, we have the Ace of Cups, and I do feel like that one <clears throat> wants to come up, right? So, Spirit, we ask for messages from you regarding what pile note number one needs to know about this connection urgently. So urgent that I had to do this while my throat is all tingly. Thank you very much. And we have the Five of Cups. Oh, yeah, I am picking this one. We have the Moon in reverse. We have strength in reverse. And we have the six of cups. Well, wow. okay. Normally cards don't come out that easily for me, but I am really getting uh, this message very clear right now from spirit. Can we get a clarifier here for the ace of cups, please? Thank you so much. We are so grateful for the clear and concise messages today from the spirit. Thank you. Thank you. We got the Ten of Cups in reverse. And why is the Five of Cups here? We got the Three of Pentacles. Why is the Moon here in reverse, Spirit? The Moon in reverse. I am feeling this one. Got the Eight of Wands. Why is the Strength here in reverse, Spirit? We got the Ace of Swords in reverse. And then why is the Six of Cups here? we got the ace of pentacles in reverse okay so we got three aces on the table here which speaks of the new beginning in pretty much all areas and i am feeling like this connection would really be um a new beginning um for you uh in in regards to if you guys were to progress everything would have to change and be completely new so spirit's message here is that with this emotional new beginning that needs to happen here, there's a lot of um, regret that your person is feeling and looking back, feeling very heavy, heavy, heavy regret and them not being able to um, collaborate and put forward effort into making things work. They do see this 10 of cups potential within this connection. Um, hasn't been realized and in order to do so that ace of cups is kind of the beginning of the emotional offering to get to the 10 from the ace to the 10 takes a lot of work takes a lot of effort takes a lot of working together and collaboration and right now your person is really regretting the fact that with this three of pentacles that not enough effort and energy and detail and um they weren't really getting involved with what it was going to take in order to be successful or a successful partner in this relationship. So it's almost like you had to be the one to either call them, ask them out, text them, see how they're doing and initiate. Most of the connection was initiated and really cared for by you. And with the moon in reverse here, there is a lot of um, fears and unknowns that your person is now kind of having to face regarding this situation. And I think a big part of the fear um, is that they're recognizing maybe what sort of person that they are uh, in connections as a whole might be the type that's never really one to 
fully give of themselves. Because I am picking up here a strong vibe that your person is having to now recognize who they are as an individual in connections. And that this um, connection has made them really take a deep look at how their patterns are. And one of their patterns is that they haven't been able to find a way to work with another to potentially um, develop a connection outside of maybe a surface connection. <clears throat> I need some water. And when I say surface, maybe more superficial type <clears throat> connections. So there is a bigger, deeper knowing here, or at least things coming to the surface here, that they have been either in cognitive dissonance, not wanting to face the fact that they've been kind of recklessly going through relationships without really understanding the depth of how it might impact someone else and how emotions and feeling can really get deep and involved. I just feel like with this Eight of Wands in reverse, there's this recklessness about going through motions, almost disregarding others' feelings, not knowing or not really caring. Um, caring might not be the right word. Not... Um, Spirit, what's the word I'm looking for? Kind of not really taking accountability for what their lack of action might be impacting another in a connection and just kind of saying what it is that needs to be said, doing what it is that they feel needs to be done, but just to kind of get them in the door or when, when you, your good graces and with the two aces here in reverse i feel like there's a huge pause right now in your person being able to start anew with this connection by grounding by having a deep communication by really having the truth come out a conversation about the truth because they're just realizing all this stuff right now about themselves so in order for them to step forward with a commitment of something that's going to really ground this connection um, rather than just words, they're going to have to recognize what the truth of the matter is for themselves and then be able to communicate that with you and recognize some of the truths of how they've been. But I think that the pain here with the regret is just really, it's a lot for them to handle. So they kind of need to um, digest that first. And I feel like with this card in reverse, with this strength, a lot of them feel sick to their stomach about how they've acted and kind of cowardly about how they've been. And maybe they feel like they're a weaker person for not being able to stand up and do what it was the right thing. There's a lot of nostalgia here with the Six of Cups and this Five of Cups. Your person is really missing you. So if you guys are in a period of no contact right now, they are missing you a lot. And yeah, I just feel like they're really kind of realizing how much you mean to them as a person. And they do know that there needs to be an emotional uh, opening of themselves internally. Ace of Cups always gives me the individual love of self, loving oneself, understanding oneself, being able to emotionally recognize and truthful within oneself to overflow with emotion and love um, and truthful emotions without hiding them and recognizing it in order to move on to the Two of Cups, which is to be able to share with another with unity. Um, and I feel like your person is still kind of in the first cup where they're having to 
recognize and love themselves first. And with the moon in reverse, this is something they're realizing that potentially they, you know, have not, or at least they told themselves that maybe they did, but they deep down might have not have been treating them selves like they fully love themselves enough to know that they deserve a two of cups that's why they've kept a lot of their relationships more superficial maybe not as deep and not allow themselves to get as deep because maybe they felt they weren't as deserving of this ten of cups or that the ten of cups was not something that was for them um yeah let's get some intuition oracle here i'm just gonna have some more water sorry guys for all the water drinking oh boy <clears throat> all right spirit can we get some intuition oracle here for pile number one regarding a message from you something they need to know about this connection and some more clarity around this situation thank you All right, so ooh, I believe this is the card that is on the box. So this is the um, Intuition Oracle and the meanings in the back of the card, which we'll take a look at. But I just like to obviously use my intuition and get what we get from spirit for messages before we turn to the traditional meaning of this card to see what else we can pick up. But I'm picking up here that your person, um, I think, is one that likes to keep their options open in their life like they don't they feel as though if they were to hitch their wagon to one person maybe they'd feel as though they'd be kind of hindered so I do feel like your person likes to um I mean they're a carefree person so they like to have a lot of people in their lives not necessarily player energy I'm not really picking that up from your person but just the fact that they are very independently um, responsible on themselves. But I am picking up, like, because their need for working with the Ace of Cups within themselves, that I feel as though they like surrounding themselves with a lot of different people in order to fill what it is that maybe internally they're missing um, internally. And that's all they have really have done. So connections have been superficial in order for them to kind of burn and turn if you will to fulfill different facets of what it is that they needed to fulfill within their own whatever was missing from themselves and that's kind of how they got their fulfillment um so in their mind in order to you know commit maybe to one individual or like i said hitch their wagon to one individual um they may feel as though they where would they get you know the rest of their fulfillment from if they would normally look ex um externally get this from external sources validating themselves from external forces rather than internally just being confident within the self now i it's kind of difficult for me to describe because this person is fairly confident, but I just feel like when it comes to connections and deep emotions, this person was really not really fully going through deep connections and avoiding them specifically because they did not want to tap into that energy within themselves. So it's easier just to avoid and keep things light. Um, so yeah, this person is generally want to f be around a lot of people, get fulfillment from a lot of people. Um, now I'm still seeing here, this could either be the moon or the sun, but I'm picking up like your energy. We did see the sun there and the sun was speaking of their potentially being contentment to be had and then your person had the moon in reverse which was kind of you know maybe coming to terms with or realize realizing hidden truths about themselves and I feel like with this here your person um really has to understand that that hidden 
what, what Spirit's telling me right now, your message for you to know, is your person really needs to come to terms with the fact that they have not have been fully open to deep um, connections and relationships with others in a way that was going to help them develop that side of their emotions to understand how to collaborate and work with another person and give and take on an emotional level. They have always been shut down from that, or at least they've been avoiding that most of their lives, if not all of their lives. They've never really had a deep connection. So right now, your person needs to fully realize this and go through realization of how this has challenged them and how this has impacted this connection specifically because like we saw that they are nostalgic nostalgic about you with the six of cups and they recognize that you've either put an ultimatum via words with the communication you've had with them or by actions by pulling away your energy and saying if this is kind of xyz doesn't happen then this is off the table so they they recognize this but we did still see the Ace of Swords and the Ace of um, Pentacles here in reverse because in order for your person to move forward with any beginning, I think this recogni recognition, that's a word, they need to recognize um, their own internal self and what they've been doing, what their patterns have been and what they've been doing in connections that have been jeopardizing and self-sabotaging themselves. I think that's, that's key here. And that's coming strong from spirit. So let's take a look at the back here. So the spectrum affirmation, I root out and reject prejudice in myself and others. This um, reject prejudice in myself and others, I feel as though your person had fear of being rejected um, by other people if they were to open up. There is some fear of abandonment. There is some fear of being rejected. There's some fear of if their true self is exposed, if they become dependent on another person, that they would be abandoned and then they would be kind of lost. So there is some abandonment concern here. And I do feel as though your person on a subconscious level might have known this and just would avoid any deep connections. And with the spectrum here, what I was just listening uh, from Spirit was that having the different types of connections that they had, the spectrum allowed them to be a more balanced type person because every person that they were able to connect with added to their basket of I think they were falsely identifying you know what was them and what was potentially driven by other people and connections that they were with and kind of taking it as their own so if someone else was able to express their emotions then they kind of were able to live through that person rather than express emotions themselves that's just one example so the more spectrum um i guess the the varying spectrum of people that they were able to connect with on different uh levels they were able to fulfill themselves um through other people but spirit is now bringing to their attention with that uh, judgment card that we saw there in your energy card that they are being awakened to the fact that they have been avoidant and self-sabotaging of their true authentic self and the true love to give to oneself and that hidden truths of how they've been in this connection and in other connections is coming out and it's making them feel very weak. It's making them feel kind of like a coward, kind of slimy, kind of not really what they want to feel like, lack of power. They don't like feeling this at all. So that is the message from spirits now we will get an advice card here or at least something that pile number one can take away from this thank you spirits all right let's have 
some water. Hmm. All right. I am getting very, very, very strong feeling here. Um, Spirit is telling me that some of you guys, if not almost all of you guys, need to be reminded or reassured. I, um, I want to give you a big hug, actually, um, that you've done nothing really wrong. Um, that this person has been driven by the fear, a fear of being abandoned, the fear of being your truthful self, and then having that rejection of you and others and potentially not being loved for their authentic self. So they're, they've been driving with this fear. <coughs> Excuse me. And that was the biggest driver of the actions. Nothing to do with how much they cared about you, if they allowed themselves to fully even deeply go there, which for some of them, I don't feel like they allow themselves to get there, even though I do feel like there is, there is definitely feeling here. But I mean, in order to truly love someone, you know, the old adage of you need to truly love yourself kind of applies here because I don't think they were able to be vulnerable within themselves to allow a true deep love to happen. But I do pick up that a lot of you guys authentically, genuinely have that about you and awaken this person to want to have that within themselves or at least recognize that they have sell themselves short when it comes to it. But they've been driven by fear and a lot of their connections in this one as well. Um, so I think they're in the process of breaking this cycle, but spirit by showing us this wanting to remind a lot of you guys if not all of you guys that there's nothing that you've done wrong that even just your presence in this person's life has you know given them that that judgment that awakening that um they needed in order to break the cycle and not drive out of fear just by being in that person's life so you know, there's really um, nothing that you're kind of having to do or that you've done that's changing, you know, this person, um, this person overnight. It's something that this person needs to actively work on and recognize that they have been driving out of fear. So, yeah, that's what um, Spirit wanted to communicate with you. I think this was a very important message. And uh, I do apologize for the coughing and the nasaliness. But uh, if you're interested in this brooch or this ring, you can visit me at prairievintagejewelry.com. And um, if you are interested in a private reading, they generally tend to be a lot more accurate. Um, again, this is just a general um, reading for a high, you know, um, group of energies. So certainly there is a scale of truth here and not everything will resonate for you. But uh, I am doing readings for the month of November, private readings. If you are interested in that, please send me an email. And uh, if you like this video, please leave a like. If you want to subscribe, please do so. And we will see you soon. Bye. Hello, my beautiful pile number two. If you picked the Guardian of the Night Tarot, then this will be your reading. And if you skim through the beginning, we will be tapping into your energy and how you feel about this connection. So you know whether this is the right pile for you before we take a look at messages from spirit regarding this connection and what you need to know. So we do want to thank spirit. Thank you so much for the clear and concise message for pile number two today. We are so blessed. Thank you. Thank you. Please protect pile number two and pile number two. We are so grateful for you allowing us to tap into your energy today. And I'm grateful for you stopping um, my channel here and taking a listen to this reading. Now, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you stumble across this reading, it, uh, it is a message meant to find you. Now, this energy check-in should let you know whether this applies to your situation or not. If it does, then, uh, like I said, we'll look at your person's um, a message from Spirit regarding your connection.
Okay, so we have the Seven of Wands upright. We have the Ten of Cups in reverse. We have the Temperance in reverse. We have the Four of Swords in reverse. And we have the Queen of Cups. Some Cancer Scorpio and Pisces. <clears throat> Page of Wands in reverse. I'm also feeling some Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius vibes here. Uh, Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> I've got the Knight, or sorry, the King of Swords in reverse. And I got the Five of Cups in reverse, and I got Strength in reverse here. Okay, so just give me a minute to pick up on the energy here, and I don't want to go into coughing fit, so I got my water here. Just give me a minute. <clears throat> All right. can see that. Okay. Um this is very similar to pile number one, so you might want to check that out. Uh, it's an energy I've uh, felt before. This energy keeps kind of coming back, but um, <clears throat> a little different. A little the same, a little different. <laughs> okay, so instead of going back through the similarities for pile number one, I'll just kind of re-see uh, exactly what it is that I'm picking up for your energy here. So what I'm getting heavily is that there was at some point in time your drive in having to defend and fight for the happiness within this connection. So um, you would make efforts in contacting your person, being able to kind of Fight for the connection, you know, text them first, ask them, you know, how they're doing, chase them, whatever it was that you needed to do in order to make them feel loved and cared for. And um, it came to a point of there being a big imbalance in this connection as far as how much emotions that you have been able to pour into your person and not maybe get out of your person. Um, I feel like you have had a little bit of time, uh, to maybe reflect on things in this connection. And I, I think this is how this is a little different than the pile number one, because I do feel what I'm picking up here is that there's been a period of time where you have been able to pick up or at least reflect back on how much more effort and energy you were giving in this connection than you were receiving and that you now recognize maybe you were selling yourself short um and something is coming through here with rocking a foundation or an existing foundation of how things might have been for you either stably for like make um like you've already established yourself potentially um home family stability and there was um maybe a a point in time where you were heavily considering um not necessarily yeah well walking away or starting from scratch where there might have been stability um 
in order to pursue your full Ten of Cups, which is an emotional fulfillment from this connection. Um, so although you felt as though you had security in your life in all other areas, potentially, maybe you have an existing family or you were happy with work and your home life balance, but this connection kind of came about and you were willing to at least have the discussion of potentially starting over for this connection and in hopes of getting your Ten of Cups, which is that full emotional fulfillment, there, I think there's a big realization right now on your part that that might have been not the right move to make, or at least you're kind of looking back on the fact that you have clear vision now um, and you're kind of feeling as though there was a moment in time where you were feeling really weak within this connection that you um that your emotions were kind of like your weak spot in this connection and you're recognizing um the lack of imbalance here that's been going on and really seeing it for what it is so maybe the rose colored glasses have come off regarding this connection but um, I'm just seeing if there's anything else here from spirit. So in this connection, I don't know if there was a conversation that had happened or more of a realization, I think potentially more of a realization and that there still needs to be a conversation or at least a conversation never really happened or a conversation that needed to happen, didn't happen. And you're kind of looking back in disappointment that after everything that you were willing to sacrifice and put forward on the line to have this Ten of Cups within this connection. And you, you just feel as though you got screwed over or abandoned or at least not what it was that was promised or at least what looked promising to you never really got fulfilled. Okay. That's what I'm getting from your energies here. If this sounds like your connection, then we'll take a look at what spirit wants to communicate to you regarding this connection, what you need to know. <clears throat> Thank you, spirit, for that clear, concise message for pile number two. Can we please look at <clears throat> a message for them regarding what they need to know about this connection right now? What does pile number two need to know about this connection right now regarding their person and the person in this connection? Thank you. All right. Give it one more. I have the three of wands. Seven of Cups, both in reverse. I have the Two of Wands <clears throat> message already coming through for this person. We have the Nine of Swords in reverse. Mm -hmm. And we have the Five of Pentacles. Okay, yep. <clears throat> There's a Three of Wands here, Spirit, in reverse. I only got the Six of Swords. Why is the Seven of Cups here in reverse? I got the King of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here? And I got the Four of Cups in reverse. Why is the Nine of Swords here in reverse? High Priestess and Five of Pentacles. Why is that here? Thank you. And we got the Five of Cups in reverse. I'm going to drink some water before I start coughing. <coughs> oh, a little too late. 
just give me a minute. Oh, I feel a coughing fit coming on. Okay. Focus, Linda. Focus. Spirit, help me communicate this message clearly and concisely. Let me get all the energy here. I, uh, yeah, I felt this energy before, guys. So I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. So just give me a minute. <laughs> Spirit wants you to know um, how your person is doing right now because it's going to be a little bit of consolation for some of you guys, even though it might be a little bit of a, um, maybe a little bit, uh, you don't want to hear your person's feeling down and out, but maybe you do, but uh, what Spirit is telling me is that your person is really regretting Um decision that they made um in this connection so they felt as though when they looked to the future that they had all these options and it was either potentially developing this connection with you or another option option could be another relationship moving to another job um doing something in which it would involve putting this relationship at risk for that time for them to pursue something that's the grass is greener or shinier or at least look shinier but they are quickly realizing that this was a grave mistake and they are having massive anxiety about the fact that they have potentially ruined this connection despite their high priestess their intuition knowing this connection um and not listening to their higher self or their downloads or their dreams or their ability to really understand that this was something special and deep they went uh, against their better judgment and made the decision to pursue um this other option or thing now this other thing or option is not fulfilling in the way that they had thought that they would be fulfilled and they are very much feeling like they are out in the cold they are feeling heavy regret they are feeling very down and out. They are feeling like they did not listen to their intuition and are feeling very much a heavy anxiety and a depression. They wanted to, they still want to um, find a way to move forward, but they need to get away from this emotional distress that they're feeling right now. And they're trying to sum up their effort and their energy and their drive in order to move away from what's not emotionally fulfilling them so a lot of it might be their ego I feel as though they are trying to work with their ego to find a way to I don't want to say lie to themselves but if they tell themselves that they made the wrong decision here um, they might bruise their ego. So they're trying to find a way to justify why it was that they needed to do what it was that they needed to do and then be able to say, but that wasn't for me. So now I want to come back and make things work here. Or at least, because I don't really see here uh, from spirit that they're, trying to find a way to make things work I just feel as though they want to get out of that decision that they made and have you back on the table or at least have you this connection option back on the table but what the message that's coming very strong is that your person is completely feeling like they screwed up um they're really regretting this decision that they made that again um jeopardized the future uh with you and I love this Two of Wands card here with the Lion and the Lioness. Just with the Two and then the Two Wands. I just feel like, I think your person felt as though 
you are going to kind of stick around or be there while they, you know, tasted other things or enjoyed other things to weed out what it is that they wanted to do and have their opportunity or kind of their cake and eat it too. And that you'd be there while they kind of decided that. So in the future they could revisit, but I think they quickly realized that it's not, like, I don't know if some of you guys might have just told them and stepped away or cut them out completely, but they recognize that by doing this, they have totally jeopardized this connection and they're feeling really, really bad about it. And that they feel as though their future is not what they want it to be. They're, they're not looking at their future like something that is positive, that's in the direction that they want it to go. So they're trying to, um, like I said work within their egoic self to justify uh, some of the decisions that they made in order to then be able to take a step forward without their tail between their legs, like they screwed up or that they have to come back to you with, you know, an apologetic way or at least feel like they did something wrong, even though that's how they're feeling. So we will pull... Um, this uh, intuition oracle here to see what else we can see here spirit for pile number two <clears throat> thank you so with the intuition oracle there's meanings on the back side, but you just use your intuition to see what you pick up. So we will take a look at the meaning once we pick up everything that we can see in this card um, from spirit intuitively. And then we will see how it kind of lines up or matches up or get additional meanings from the um, definitions or context in the back. So right now, what I'm picking up here from this card is... Is still this this energy I was getting with this two of wands I feel like your person wanted to explore and wanted to enjoy and wanted to have their cake and eat it too and go on this excursion or journey or um you know if it was another connection enjoy this other connection for whatever time being and you'd be kind of there for them after you know when they wanted to look at a serious relationship or if it was like a job opportunity, they would explore that and see how that kind of went. But you'd be kind of there when they come back. But the enjoyment of kind of doing what felt good for them rather than maybe what they knew what was intuitively right for them to follow was what they followed. And I kind of feel as though they weren't really listening to, well, we know they weren't listening to their high priestess here with the nine of swords in reverse and this high priestess, like there was some hidden, hang on and get some water. Well, we say hidden truths, but there was, <clears throat> there was an understanding that this connection was something deep and much more than, you know, how they were, kind of handling it or playing it out to be but they were wanting to follow whatever was kind of calling to them um but not on a deep level it's more of they were drawn to the glitter and they were drawn to what was calling to them short term and I feel like they wanted to transform themselves from during that experience and thinking that eventually they would either be ready for this connection with you once they transformed as an individual or got what it was that they wanted out of that opportunity and then be able to fully develop this with you. That was their mindset. So that's what spirit is saying. So maybe there was an illusion here that they could have their cake and eat it too. They can go through this experience. They could transform as an individual. Maybe they were justifying to themselves that they'd become stronger for you, stronger independently, stronger um, in order to be able to have this connection with you by doing this or finishing this or following this 
other option desire. Okay, so I feel like there was nothing you could have really said or done anyway. They were really fixated on living this out and thinking that this was going to transform them or be what it was that they wanted or felt like it was their calling. Um, even though they deep down, I feel a lot of them knew the right thing to do would have been to work on this connection or at least recognize it for what it is. But they kind of were sidetracking themselves with other things. So here we have the improviser affirmation. I effortlessly adapt to deal with unexpected circumstances. What I'm getting from this is your person was very reactionary for that in which choice that they made. So potentially I'm getting actually getting, I'm getting really strong um, energy here for a lot of you guys that maybe there was a big surprise um, in how this person reacted, uh, to something that you, or reacted in a way that you didn't think they would, or made a choice that you never in a million years would see that they would have made, um, that left you kind of high and dry. So either this job opportunity came quickly and they decided to jump on board without either communicating with you that, you know, led potentially to you guys maybe being split or, that they suddenly just started seeing someone or that they, they did something I think that was really reactionary and they're trying to justify that it was a calling or something that they had to kind of do uh, in the moment in order to transform themselves to experience what it is that they um, needed to experience. And with this improviser, um, you know, I feel like they were ignoring their high priestess. They were acting more out of in the moment rather than knowing what their higher self and for their highest good and acting on their highest good and following that. Um, but yeah, but now we know that they feel uh, heavy regret for this decision being made and they do want to um, remove themselves from what's not emotionally f fulfilling them, which is this other choice option that they made. They're feeling very heavy regret with this five of pentacles here. They're feeling really out in the cold in this connection, anxiety. Like I said, it almost a, a sense of depression here, even with this five of cups in reverse, there's heavy depression and this transformation that they thought would happen. I mean, I don't, I don't really get any energy here from spirit as to what this is. So maybe if you guys know, you can comment below, like what did they, if you do know, uh, what were they trying to transform themselves into? What were they trying to do? It could be for some of you guys that maybe money was a thing, maybe they thought they can stabilize themselves independently. I don't know. That's me just kind of seeing what I'm picking up, but I think it's different for a lot of you guys. I just feel as though that that strong sense of they required this impromptu action and choosing this option in order to transform themselves. And then they're justifying it by saying, cause this would have been better for our connection as a whole, um, which as they realized was not necessarily the case. And I'm picking up just from this guy's belt, like, I don't know, this is probably just the art, but it almost looks like he has like a heart strap to him, like an actual human heart. I don't know if that's obviously not what it is, but then there's these knives beside it and then it's kind of strapped on. I just feel like your person kind of took advantage of knowing how you felt about them and feeling as though you were going to be there by their side by... You know, if they had your heart, then there was really nothing that they couldn't do that you wouldn't still forgive them or be there for them. Um, I do feel like they took advantage of your feelings and your ability to be forgiving and loving and accepting of your person, but they took this decision 
to maybe they never even communicated with some of you guys until after they already made that decision or you found out secondhand that this decision had been made. I just feel like they probably weren't really, they weren't fair to you. Um, and they were really thinking of themselves, but, um, yeah, I feel like they just kind of took your heart and ran. That's what I'm really picking up from that card. Um, yeah, so we're going to get um, here um, an advice card or some guidance card. Spirit, can we send a message for pile number two? That's going to help them with a takeaway message. Thank you so much. Yeah, I really feel bad for you guys, pile number two, if this is resonating. Um, it feels like your person kind of took advantage of your love and the fact that you were emotionally attached to this person or giving them your heart and they just went and did something that they knew would not be the right thing to do in this connection and they did it anyway. And then on top of that, they used the excuse that it was for your own good, like yours and your connection's own good, because it was going to help them transform as an individual. Enchantment. <clears throat> so I'm getting here um, back to your energy, what we have picked up at the beginning. I felt like there was a period of time we saw there with the Four of Swords in reverse that you've had to reflect and heal i feel like there's enough time maybe some of you guys have got your heart back i'm hoping for some of you guys i am feeling that you're sh getting stronger as an individual every day from removing the attachment you've had to this person or potentially you have had and now you are really cleansing yourself of um any sort of negativity that is left you in this situation. And I feel as though with the enchantment here, you're not letting what has happened here impact you as an individual. And spirit is here to just give you props and really recognize that you've been putting a lot of energy and effort into flushing yourself out of anything negative. You've still been your loving self, even towards this person. I feel as though you haven't been hateful. You haven't been, you know, wishing them harm. You haven't been resentful. I mean, you're definitely hurt. You're, there was definitely anger there at some point in time, but I feel like right now you've almost even tipped the scales to it doesn't bother you as much as it did at some point. And maybe now you're just more curious about what's happened. So you're just checking back. But you're definitely on a polar end, opposite end of where your person's at because your person is in this depression of knowing they totally screwed up. And you have this clear aura about you that you know you've done everything right to the best of your ability, that you were on the up and up, that you weren't trying to fool anyone, that you were honest with your feelings, your emotions, that you were able to give openly and be vulnerable and give your person the opportunity to do the same back, whether they did or didn't, um, you know, was kind of in their hands and they opted to mm, go down, maybe not the right path, but you feel like you're karma free from what, you know, what this connection kind of how it transpired. So you can sleep well at night. You're cleansing yourself of any sort of negative emotions that you might still be carrying but for the most part i feel you've flushed a lot of that out um so spirit just wants to you know um congratulate you and also just keep reminding you to you know keep working on self as far as um your ability to not you know not use this in a way that's going to taint your view but definitely become a smarter individual as far as knowing other people might not be as morally ethically or just have the same values as you when it comes to doing what's right in a connection so yeah that's what i have here for you guys pile number two uh if you like this brooch if you like this ring it is or will be listed at prairievintagejewelry.com if you like this video give me a like or leave a comment and if you haven't subscribed i would be so so grateful if you did and if you're dropping off we'll see you again bye
Hello, my beautiful pile number three. If you pick the Sugar Skull Tarot, then this will be your reading. And we will take a look at your energies first so that you know whether this is your pile or not. Um, if this resonates, then we will take a look at message from Spirit regarding your connection and something you need to know from Spirit regarding uh, your person and this connection. So right now we'll tap into your energy and we will ask Spirit for a clear and concise message for pile number three. Thank you so much, Spirit. And please protect pile number three. And pile number three, I am so, so blessed for you allowing me to tap into your energy of you and your person. So grateful. Thank you so much. So right now for your energies here, we have the Queen of Swords in reverse, we have the Tower, we have the Page of Swords, we have the Temperance, we have the Eight of Pentacles, and we have the Queen of Cups. Okay, why is the Queen of Swords in reverse here and the Tower? And the Nine of Swords. Okay, why is the Page of Swords here, Spirit? The Two of Swords. Why is the Temperance here? The Ace of Swords. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here, Spirit? I got the King of Swords. And then why is the Queen of Cups here, Spirit? I have got Five of Pentacles. Okay, I'm getting an energy. Um, actually, a new energy that I haven't felt here in a while. And I mean, I don't know if it's because I have such low subscribers. <clears throat> Kind of always feel the same energies kind of coming in but this energy feels a little different um a little lot a little lot different I have some water before i start coughing and before i get into it okay give me a minute i do like tapping into the full energy before i start rattling things just to make sure i don't miss anything so give me a sec Okay, so I'm feeling as though you, because this is about your energy, um, there's involvement here with two people, and I'm feeling two females, um, with the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups. And I'm feeling as though, now this could be a very old comparison for you, that you're comparing this new um well i say new but i guess the person of your choice or the person you're here for to an old past person that you were with and you're still though you admit it or don't admit it but i still feel like there's a connection here to this other female now it doesn't necessarily have to be female but it's a female energy i'm picking up on um but i feel as though something happened within that connection that either it ended abruptly or whatever happened back when it happened um, has left you kind of shaken up and left you in a state of maybe not wanting to um, maybe pursue another connection, but there was a lot of anxiety. There was a lot of um, reflection. There was a lot of indecision in order to move forward from this or keep in the vicinity of this um, person in order to salvage or hang on to whatever it is that you felt maybe could have been salvaged. But I do feel like there was some history here that is impacting this now connection. Um, 
I do feel like there is realization that you want to, and maybe this is a new realization or a realization that you wanted to and want to be able to put forward energies and effort and really making a go of this connection. You want to communicate to this person how you wanted to be able to, um, you wanted to be able to communicate to them, one, that you wanted to work with them to, um, wrong words, spirit, help me articulate. You wanted to communicate to your person, one, what has happened in the past and maybe why you haven't been able to put forward the effort and the dedication into this connection. And two, you want to be able to put forward the effort and the um, dedication into pursuing this person um, to see where things may go. But I do feel as though either you are afraid that this person might not be open to it or that there might be a rejection from this person or that they have rejected you um your feelers maybe put feelers out there to see how that person would be open to it but you just feel as though and i think for a lot of you guys you might just feel as though this person's going to may reject you and that there is some fear fear there about it but um and potentially the fear stemming from past experience of what has happened but i do feel as though you are really wanting to balance things out by kind of moving forward from maybe painful pasts and have this new opportunity to communicate how what has happened in the past is impacting you and why maybe you haven't been able to dedicate yourself. Um, I am picking up for some of you guys too that this might be someone that you're involved with potentially at work. Um, but there is there is a, a desire here for you, you to communicate and I feel as though you want to be truthful and you want to be able to um, kind of see maybe where this goes. Yeah, so this is what I'm picking up for this energy here, which is an interesting energy. Uh, anything else to your spirit so that pile number three knows that this is there? person or at least this connection nope oh, okay that's what i'm picking up here for your energy um so let's take a look at what this message from spirit regarding this um connection that you need to know <clears throat> so spirit thank you so much for that message please be, be clear and concise we saw two queens so just let me know uh what person individual we're talking about here so that I can deliver a clear, concise message for pile number three. Thank you very much. Right, now we got the Queen of Pentacles, okay. We got the High Priestess. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm gonna... <clears throat> Some water before I go to a coughing fit. Okay. What else, Spirit? What else do we have here? Mm, two of Cups. I just heard, um, go with the solid, stable one. Go with the solid, stable one. Go with the solid, stable one. That's all I keep hearing. Okay, you got the sun in reverse. You got the eight of pentacles coming out again. Yeah, I feel a different energy here. I love it. Okay, uh, can we clarify the queen of pentacles here, please? We got the wheel of fortune in reverse. Okay, uh, why is the high priestess here? The Knight of Wands in reverse. And why is the Two of Cups here? Ooh. Two of Cups is here because of the King of Cups. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Why is the Sun in reverse here? 
and the devil. It's kind of coming together. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? The Six of Cups in reverse. Of course, we have to get the Six of Cups in reverse here, which was what uh, what we're picking up in that initial energy right here. Okay, so <clears throat> give me a minute just to pick up this uh, energy here from Message from Spirit, and I will communicate. Well, <clears throat> I'm not getting a whole hell of a lot regarding your person. I'm getting very heavy energy about where you're at in this connection. And I feel as though you are still looking back at a connection that you had in the past that is very difficult to let go of and that go with the solid stable one that I feel as though there's potentially a choice right now in this connection for you to be able to pursue um, and put in the effort and gain contentment, but there's a holding or a looking back at the past and not being able to fully move forward. Um, I feel like part of you feels as though with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse that the way things potentially had ended was not by anyone's real choice. And because of that, I feel as though that might be why it is hard to move forward because had things been a little different, the result would have been a little different and you're still kind of hung up or hanging on to that piece, but there's this unhealthy attachment, obsession with not letting go of that connection and you're delaying your own happiness by not being able to move forward with putting energy and effort into, I guess, the more solid and stable one, whatever that means to you. But message from spirit is that there is someone that you're able to really be able to rely on when it comes to having this unity, this two of cups, this contentment that you're kind of delaying because you're too busy holding or looking back and being attached to this past person and you're having a hard time letting go of this individual. And for some of you guys, for some, okay, 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 okay. Huh. This is an interesting energy, though. First time reading this type of an energy, but I think I'm getting what's going on over here. Okay, so I think for some of you guys, you guys were with this person and you did not allow yourself to fully enjoy or at least be fully realized within that connection and had a hiatus or at least for whatever reason it didn't quite work out or pan out and now you want to come back and you want to come back and be able to work on this connection but you're really still seeing your person kind of as it was how it landed up and you're really attached to this person and I feel as though you have a hard time letting go of what happened in the past and how things might have turned and you feel as though it wasn't really out of anyone's real doing. Um, you know, like not that somebody had done something so um, like cheating or something drastic that would have 
ended this uh, connection. I feel as though it was something that just kind of either two people drifted or it didn't work out or pan out for whatever reason. And now there's this looking back on this connection, but spirit is here saying you were only holding yourself back because there is this love of the solid, stable person that is there for you. And it could very well be this person, but it could very well be another person. And I really don't know. Um, only you could potentially know that. And you should know, I would imagine here with the high priestess, that there is this knowing that this person um, is the person for you that can give you this two of cups which is you know two individuals really sharing this union together of love but you are kind of holding this contentment back by still looking at the back at the past of how things were not being able to let go of it not being able to move forward you're not moving forward right now in your two of cups because you're still looking back and reminiscing or having a hard time letting go of it um I see you, and I don't know why I'm just seeing this as you, but I do see this as you, uh, looking at the circumstance and situation of why it didn't work out and what had happened, and it's like you're racking your brain over why and how, and you're letting that kind of guide you. Um, but it's not really helping because right now what spirit wants you to know is that in order for you to have your two of cups and your son contentment now and your happiness, that the efforts that you're going to put in needs to be new, um, new effort, um, and a new energy rather than looking at past and hanging on to past and that, you know, intuitively that there is an opportunity for you to move forward. You know, Queen of Pentacles here uh, is Earth energy. So you do have uh, Virgo. You have Taurus and Capricorn. Um, <clears throat> you do have, with the King of Cups here, um, Water, which is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. With the Devil, you have Heavy Capricorn here, Capricorn again. With the Sun, you got some Leo uh, coming out. So, I mean, we do have some signs here, but it um, could be in your, um, either your sun sign, your moon, or your rising. But, yeah, I think Spirit's message here is very clear about the, you know, um, not being able to move on and let yourself emotionally move on from this connection. That there is this unhealthy attachment and looking back at why this didn't work out, but it's holding you back to move forward and to communicate to maybe this new connection that or this new person in your life or even potentially this person that you're still wanting to communicate with to have that two of cups with but you're not sure how because you're still hung up on what had happened but there needs to be the energy and the effort and involvement put in and like I said for some of you guys it could very well be um, somebody that you worked with in the past um, but it, Spirit's saying you're delaying your contentment. Now I'm going to pull uh, one of these into uh, Intuition Oracle cards. <clears throat> and these cards have um, definitions on the back. But we're just going to take a look at the image at the front and see what we pick up intuitively. And then we will take a look at um, what the back has to say in the affirmation. See what else Spirit has here to tell you regarding this connection. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh. So we have, looks like, like a Native American chief here with an axe and tribes person. Okay, so right now, intuitively, what I'm picking up, though, is... Well, for one, somebody who is very strong, and I'm picking up that that is potentially your energy, that you're a very strong person in knowing what it is that you want and where it is that you want to go and what you believe in. And I feel like right now, you probably don't realize that you have your person um, behind you or at least waiting for your 
action or your instruction, they're kind of waiting for you to be able to indicate to them what it is that's you're wanting or at least take the lead. And I feel like for some reason you are normally a leader type person and take lead. But in this case, I feel as though you are in heavy contemplation and something is really, um, well, you know, the something here that we saw was holding back was taking a look at why things didn't really work out. But now you're questioning, I see you questioning the future. I see you questioning which way it is that you want to go. I see you questioning you know, if you go down a certain path, whether you want, who you want by your side. And I do see that there's a lot of questions around going down a certain path and not knowing whether it is right or not, but there's some hesitation that comes with that. So spirit is just reminding you that, you know, it's okay to question, but to completely hesitate you're prolonging your contentment by not acting by not allowing yourself to move forward you're kind of stopped there and your person or I guess the person in this connection is kind of stalled out because of the fact that you're stalling out um, and that this person is still in your energy vicinity so if there was question around whether this person is you know, off the table or on the table, this person is still in your energy vicinity and spirit is saying that it's not too late for you guys to have a communication about what it is that's going to either move this forward or not. And they're kind of waiting and looking to you to either decide what it is that you are wanting to do. Um, but you seem very hesitant and you also seem like you're not distracted in the you're distracted and you're not really involved in the present you're kind of stuck in the past is what I'm really picking up and the past is holding you hostage of being able to move forward um and this is just stalling both of you guys out and spirits also tell me that you are prepared um to step forward that there's nothing more to prepare for like, frick, you have an axe here. Like, <laughs> what more do you want? You have a spear, but you're still, for some reason, not feeling prepared. Or they just have all these questions, and there's unknowns, and there's fears. So there's this period of pause, and this person's like, well, what the, f you know, what the heck? Like, are you moving forward, or what's going on here? So I do feel also here, it looks like there's this target um, on this, this guy's garb, but it's looks like a target for the chest or the heart like I just feel like potentially you feel as though you feel as though you're open but I think spirit is here saying it's one thing to be open but another thing to drive forward to get where it is that you want to get to so you might be telling yourself that being open is enough, but if you're open and you're still kind of thinking about the past or holding yourself back or hesitant, then you're really not driving forward or moving things forward. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm picking up on this card. So the leaders, affirmation, I know how to lead because I know what needs to be done. And like I said, you intuitively already know, we said with the high priestess and you're prepared and you have your axe and this person is waiting for you to kind of lead and maybe, and you are used to being a leader, like I said, and taking that step and being able to know what it is you want and move forward. So I don't know, again, I say, I don't know, I kind of seeing what it is that's holding you back, but I still don't fully have the picture as to why that's holding you back so much, right? Like, I don't know if you know, uh, you know, leave in the comments, but this is kind of more of a general reading. So for a lot of you guys, it might be different, but I really feel like this card is the stuck card here with the King of Cups looking back uh, at this negative or negative uh, reverse wheel of fortune. Like something had happened that stalled everything out, that something wasn't supposed to go the way that it did. And just as luck would have it or as fate would have it, it, it turned something bad and or in the way you did not expect or want for both of you guys and now you're kind of attached to that and that was the outcome that you're kind of fixated on 
and you're not moving forward from it and your person's not moving forward because you're not moving forward and your person's kind of not knowing what you're wanting because you're looking to the distance but you're thinking of what's gone in the past you're kind of frozen in time and it's not allowing you to move forward as you would normally do so um yeah that's what i'm picking up here from spirit so hopefully that resonated uh with you and i really enjoyed this reading if you are interested in a private reading um those tend to be a lot more accurate i am doing private readings for the month of november you can send me an email and um, let me know what you're interested in and i can give you my rates um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so if you are interested. And we'll see you again. Thanks, guys. Bye.